Hello, welcome back. We already learned about how to pass an object as a parameter to a Java method. Now we are going to learn about how to make an object as a return type for a Java method. So here in this class test here I am going to make a variable int x. Now create a constructor for this class public test with a single argument x. Now make the initialization this dot x equal to x. Okay. Now here in the same class I am going to create another method. The method name is update object. Of course we have to specify some return type for this method that is necessary. So here I am going to make the return type as the class name test. That means this method will return an object of this class test. And within this method, I am going to make some object updation. For that, here I am going to create an object of the same class, test. Uh, I name it as temp equal to new test. And here I call the constructor again with some updated value for variable x. And here I update the value of variable x into 10. That means update the increment the value of variable x by 10. Okay. Now finally from this method I return this object. Okay. So here for this method update object here the return type is an object of the class test and within this method I create another object of the same class but here I call the constructor invoke the constructor with an update value for variable x and finally return the newly created object from this method. Okay. Now here in main method I am going to create an object of the test class test t equal to new test with some value for variable x 15. Okay. Now here I am going to print the value of variable x before make any updation on this object. So before before object updation uh, object update value for x equal to t dot x. Now I am going to make an updation for object t, t equal to t dot update object. So by using this same object I call the update object method. So this method, in this method again I create a new object and from this object I call the constructor by incrementing the value for variable x by 10. So the value of variable x become 25 now and finally return the same object back. So here the previous object, the object t is actually replaced with the new object. Now here I am going to print the value of variable x with the update value, updated value after object update after object updation ok now we can check the program so we can run it so before object updation value for, value for x is 15 now it is changed into 25 this is how we make an object as a return type for a java method I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.